up his fourth so I'm gonna need my fourth for sure uh, even if I if I if I keep playing uh, in a way that I don't understandly uh, that I'm gonna try and delay his expansions as much as possible and I really need to play that way since I cannot allow a protoss to get any more bases than simply possible uh, and especially those key four bases after that it's only like very hard to defend and uh, and so on bases but these four bases are key if he's able to take those uh, I will have very hard time fighting against him over here I kinda try to attack him from many spots at once uh, I'm making him think that I'm attacking from over here and it's kinda true I have some lurkers and links over there but meanwhile the main attack comes from over here and counter attacks his expo uh, you really gotta know where, when you have your army and where uh, it's very necessary and now I have like 2k gas surplus I'm very aware of that fact but I simply needed those links as you can notice I have a huge amount of lurkers but I still have a, a lot of gas so it couldn't be helped I'm gonna make I'm gonna spend it for sure uh, and uh, at the first possible uh, when uh, when simply possible at all but uh, for now I couldn't spend it and uh, I'm doing my best though since at, at this point it, it's far more useful to make uh, zerglings uh, like uh, some zerglings as well instead of pure lurkers so uh, that's why I decided to maybe make a couple less uh, lurkers than I could have and have more zerglings that way my army is going to be far more efficient as well like I already said uh, keep adding to your army instead of uh, instead of just wasting your army uh, or losing your army and then attacking with a new army you you after one attack you you're going to bring more units to make that army even more powerful that that's a key a key thing that you got to do uh over here uh i know that he's once again going to try to take that expansion so i'm i'm going to try and attempt to take it down once again like i have more than 12 lurkers in this attack once these 12 lurkers burrow they're going to own pretty much anything over here he had way too many storms like what was that 10 storms or something i don't know uh like that's that that's why he was able to take down those lurkers but on the other hand he has no real ground army so when when my zerglings and other units come and counter-attack uh, he doesn't really have anything to stop them with he's bringing new units though so he's very close to getting securing that expansion excuse me uh, I'm also starting my ultra cavern since I have four bases so that means that I'm gonna have very quick mineral income and I'm um, and I also have a lot of spare gas and and a, a big gas income income so uh, I'm gonna start the altruist cavern and I'm gonna make altars later on however at first I decided to go with defilers I have so many lurkers and I have so many zerglings that defilers are gonna be very strong when if I can burrow and it place a dark swarm or two uh, and my lurkers are below and I just come with lurk uh, zerglings it's gonna be so powerful he really doesn't have anything to stop it with at this point like these zealots of course they're strong but my zerglings and lurkers under a dark swarm are simply too strong for the those uh, those lots and a high Templars to handle over here. Since I was able to get like one to two groups of zerglings and four lurkers burrowed, he really doesn't have anything any way to stop that. I'm once again able to delay his expansion with Dark Swarm. However, if I had tried to get go ultras first and skip the defilers all. Uh, like completely I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have been able to stop that of course uh, eventually I would have had a very strong ultra link army but uh, these defilers are, were necessary for delaying that expansion uh, but nowadays I've usually decided to go for defilers first and ultra cavern pretty quickly afterwards unless I have a good reason to do otherwise uh, that's simply because I feel like it's a a bit safer like ultra link alone they cannot win they cannot usually win uh so well against big battles unless you you really have the game already but if you have defilers and then you kind of switch to ultras once you have the extra money and and once you have a once it's possible it makes a very powerful unit combination uh over here i kind of messed lurker link defile defiler and now that i had the chance i made a couple of ultras as well uh 
that that store was just too effective. I was too careless with my units. However, now that I, he he didn't have any ground units, so uh, and it's likely since I'm a Zerg and I have far smaller uh, worker count to per expansion, uh, so it's pretty much obvious that his natural and main are completely mined out, as mine are are almost mined out as well. So he only has that one expansion. So uh, that's also one reason why I gotta delay that expan this expansion. If he's able to or uh, take the take 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 this expansion and keep it and, and so on it's going to be bad for me but uh if he's not able to do that he's only going to have one base while I'm going to have two to three bases even uh and that means that I it's pretty much my victory unless he has army advantage which he does not it's a, at the moment I have perhaps a slightly arm, army advantage since I can produce units quicker than he does uh since he only has one base and I have more plus my units are ver very strong as well uh, so basically at this point I just mass ultra link defiler and I c it's pretty much GG at this point I guess he still tries something since uh, it's not like I have the whole map and it's not like he I have a massive army advantage so he still wants to try some stuff uh, however like looking at this later on and looking at this from my perspective there's really nothing he can do anymore like I have such a big army advantage that as long as I don't get I don't get arrogant or anything and just play safe till the very last second there's really nothing that he can do to uh, do to stop my army or anything uh, so I, b I build a couple more uh, units like I, I bring more defilers to the business uh, I just want to be sure like of course my ultraling army is pow powerful as it is but I want to be safe for sure like who knows what he will come with so I, I want to have that defiler just so that it's, it's completely sure that my army will not lose like ultraling it's not something that will instantly win the game perhaps the lower level levels yes but later on ultraling is is something that that's only powerful it's not something that will win the game so but adding defilers to the ultraling mix makes, makes them extremely powerful almost impossible to beat and everything and that's why i decided to add a defiler just to be sh safe and not to throw the ga throw a game away that i've already won over here i noticed that he's uh, he's c coming uh, for me f from this place however it's pretty much obvious that uh that i shouldn't attack over there like of course my army is much bigger but i don't want to get arrogant uh if i attack him from such an unfavorable place it means that he's he might be able to do uh he, he might be able to get far more units than i first intended and uh, and be able to counterattack me and i don't want him to be able to counterattack me so i just uh, took it safe and retreated uh, at this point I pretty much just gotta keep massing ultraling defiler and secure a new expansion like even though I probably won I cannot simply relax I gotta take a new expansion and keep it keep playing the game to my fullest and and only stop playing when it's over uh, if I had stopped playing halfway when it was when it, it kinda felt like I had won I probably would have uh, wouldn't have done uh, so well in this game like it it, it could have been far harder for me now I'm just bringing my units over to his uh, like that one expansion attempt which he tried to take earlier just to be sure that he doesn't have an expansion coming like it was like one or two minutes since I last checked it so I wanted to be sure that I, he, he doesn't have anything tricky going on over there uh, at this point there's really nothing he can do anymore uh, like it, even if he got that expansion down it wouldn't even matter I have such a big army now uh, and once he gets to a favorable place for me like once he gets to the middle of this area I attack like he can't do any anything anymore like it's it's over uh, it, uh, like I cannot attack him when he's in the high ground and in a narrow place but once he's in a place favorable for me I attack and there's really nothing he can do anymore uh, like th this secures it it's over for sure uh, and I guess he doesn't want to leave since he played the ga early game well and I don't really mind uh, he can try as much as he wants uh, uh, so I guess this is pretty much it like there's nothing any he can do anymore I keep just massing units like this is over at this point uh, no matter what I do, I cannot lose anymore. Even if I A move like this, I have way too many ultras, 
and if I even throw a dark swarm th that just makes it even easier for me I wouldn't even need the dark swarm or need to need to do anything anymore I just need to a move and and it's over and it's GG thanks for watching